Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you PN junction diode. See in my last video, I have covered semiconductor material. If you have seen that video, in that I have explained in semiconductor, we are having two categories. One is intrinsic semiconductor material. Intrinsic means pure semiconductor material. Pure means there is no impurity added in material that is pure semiconductor material or you can say intrinsic semiconductor material and with semiconductor material if you add impurities then there will be extrinsic semiconductor material in extrinsic semiconductor material again there are two types n type and p type see in n type semiconductor we are adding pentavalent impurities pentavalent impurities means in outer orbit there are five electrons so as you add pentavalent impurities in covalent bond structure, you will be having free electrons. You see, see in semiconductor material, we are having four electrons in outer orbit. Here we add pentavalent impurities in N type that is extra impurity, which we add based on extra impurity. There will be free electrons means majority charge carrier in N type is free electron, right? In P type, we add trivalent impurities trivalent impurities means in outer orbit we have three electrons so here in covalent bond structure one electron is missing missing electron means there is a free hole so majority charge carrier in p type is hole and majority charge carrier in n type is electron now in pn junction in pn junction what we do is we diffuse p type and n type material together so when you form a junction at that time at junction that is a formation of depletion region let me show you how see here we have p type material and here we have n type material we are diffusing these two material together so at this junction there is a formation of depletion region what is depletion region see at junction p type material is having holes as a majority carrier an n type material is having electrons as a majority carrier so holes and electrons are getting recombined with each other so at the side of p type electrons are getting diffused with holes and at the side of n type holes are getting diffused with electrons so at the side of p type as electrons are getting diffused there is a formation of negative ions and at the side of n type holes are getting diffused over here so there is a formation of positive ions so here ion formation is happening at the side of n type positive ions are there at the side of p type negative ions are there and this region of ions that is depletion region or you can say that is space charge region right so when you diffuse two materials together p type and n type at that time that is a formation of depletion region depletion region means generation of ions at junction at side of p type negative ions are there at the side of n type positive ions are there so you see electric field that will happen from positive ions to negative ions right electric field will emerge from positive ions and it will go inside negative ions so you see electric field direction that is happening in this direction right and based on this ion there is a potential barrier Potential barrier means voltage that is getting generated because of this ions. So potential barrier is what? Potential barrier is a voltage that is getting formed due to ions at junction. At junction, at the side of N type, positive ions are there. At the side of P type, negative ions are there. Right. So because of this ions, potential is getting generated that potential is potential barrier right so here see if you want to draw if you want to draw symbol of this p n junction then that is simple diode that is simple diode at the side of p type we are having anode here we are having anode and at the side of n type here we are having cathode right and with this diode we are having potential barrier over here and that is happening due to space charge region or depletion region where there is a formation of ions right if you talk about silicon diode then that potential barrier will be 0.7 voltage 
and if you talk about germanium diode then that value of potential barrier that is 0.3 voltage right now what is the role of potential barrier see potential barrier will be resisting flow of current so here see when you apply supply in between anode and cathode at that time this depletion region will be acting like a wall and that wall will not allow flow of current see this depletion region will not allow flow of current that's why it is potential barrier barrier means it is resisting flow of current so to have a conduction from anode to cathode we need to apply voltage which should be greater than potential barrier like see you are having pn junction diode now you want to turn it on so as if you want to turn it on first you will have to connect that in forward bias forward bias means anode should be connected with positive terminal of battery and cathode should be connected with negative terminal of battery so at that time diode will come in forward bias now when diode is there in forward bias at that time here to flow a current from anode to cathode you will have to apply voltage which should be greater than potential barrier that is 0.7 voltage in case of silicon and as if your diode is made up of germanium then you will have to apply more than 0.3 voltage in forward bias for a conduction of diode so here in this video how many things that you have learned see first is how formation of pn junction happens when you diffuse pn and type material together at junction there is a generation of ions and that region of ion that is depletion region at the side of p type material there will be formation of negative ions at the side of n type material there is a formation of positive ions and because of those ions there is a generation of voltage and that voltage is potential barrier what is potential barrier that potential barrier does not allow flow of current so in forward bias you must apply more than potential barrier voltage so that there is a conduction of current right so here when you keep this diode in forward bias at that time you you will have to apply voltage which should be greater than potential barrier after that flow of current will happen right so all the details that i have mentioned over here p type material is having trivalent impurities means majority carriers are holes n type material is having pentavalent impurities means majority carriers are electrons when you diffuse pn junction at that time at the side of p type electrons are getting combined here which forms negative ion at the side of n type holes are getting combined over here which forms positive ion because of this region is phase charge region which is also referred as depletion region that generates potential barrier that is happening because of formation of ions that value of voltage will be 0.7 voltage due to silicon in case of silicon diode that voltage will be 0.3 voltage in case of germanium diode and for a conduction of current you will have to apply more than potential ba barrier voltage in forward bias so that are the basics which is there with pn junction diode i hope you have understood all those things still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you Thank you so much for watching this video.